This flowerpot is an easy way to hide a house key, and it uses RFID technology. It can sit on your porch, looking like, you know, a flower pot. But if you push a hidden button on the false bottom, a green LED comes on. And then, if you just happen to tap your fob or card that has the right ID, a hidden drawer slides out. Inside, you can fit a house key or other small object. After a small delay, the drawer slides back in where no one would ever notice it unless they were looking for it. Let's look at how the project works. It all starts with an Arduino Nano on a breadboard, an RFID reader, a stepper motor, and a stepper motor driver. The drawer, motor gear, and motor bracket were all 3D printed. One challenge that I had was power supply. I was using a 9 volt power supply through a wired connection, but that was just to power the stepper motor. I needed a separate power supply for the Arduino. I could have used a 9 volt battery, but it would have drained pretty quickly. Luckily, I had already faced this problem before with my remote control light switch, so I could just use the same solution. Here's my explanation from that video. But I thought of a way to get around this. I would solder a circuit with two ways to get power through to the Arduino. One would be a button, which I would push to start the Arduino, but the other path would be through a relay. As soon as the Arduino would turn on from my pushing the button, it would send power to the relay to keep the connection from the 9 volt battery running. Then I could release the button, and the Arduino could just keep its own power source running. Then whenever I wanted to turn off the Arduino, I could just tell it to stop sending power to the relay, and this would cut off the connection from the 9 volt battery and kill the Arduino. Then I needed to engineer the frame. I found the flower pot abandoned along a nature trail, and I used cardboard and 3D printed parts for the rest. My sister Kelly made the flowers out of construction paper. The flower on the side was a good way to let the user know where to tap the RFID card. There was just one more thing. As soon as the Arduino powers on, I needed to notify the user in some way so they would know that they could let go of the push button. For that purpose, I added an LED light right beside the button. And that's it, a perfect storage place for your house key.